welcome back to P2. Today we're going to look at the laws of logarithms, unit 3.3. Now, I'm just going to start by writing down the different laws of logarithms. I'm not going to go through where they come from or how you can derive them. You know, you have your, your textbook and there's plenty of things out there to help you work these out if you're interested in it. What I'm going to do is write the rules down and show you how to use them. Now, there's three main laws that you're going to use. So there is the multiplication law. So you have log of any base. So log x, any base, plus log y of the same base. And that gives you log of x, y of that base. This is the multiplication law, and it's very, very useful. And then a very similar law when we are subtracting. This is the division law. And then finally, we have the power law. It's probably the most used out of the three. And the power law means we just are able to bring that power down and multiply by that log. So it's nice and easy. It's very much bring the power down so you get a multiplication. Very, very good. Very easy. Now, just before we look at a couple of special cases, I do want to mention a couple of logs. Some of these we might not do today, but you will start seeing them. And often, if you just see the word log with no base or you see lg this means it's going to be a log to the base 10 okay if you see an ln that means it's a natural log and it's log to the base e so log to the base 10 and log to the base e are the two most commonly used logs which is why we kind of have abbreviations. So LN for natural log, LG for log to the base 10. This is a more modern one. In the past, most people tend to write just log without putting the base in when they were doing log to the base 10. And you can see this on older calculators where you'll see log or LN for these two logs. Newer calculators, this one's been replaced by um, a log with your blank bits where you can put in your own base. So it is slightly different on the newer calculators. Now, in terms of special cases, ones that are very useful, if I get one over a value in my log, then it's very useful that this can become a negative version of that same log. And it's something that I actually think used in the last video. If I remember correctly, um, I definitely used it recently. But yeah, so that's an option. Um, it could also be written as that value to the minus one if it stays as positive. And you can see, you know, that's where this one comes from and so on. Okay, this one can also come from this rule. So there's a few ways in getting it. Um, the same base the log of a value that has the same base uh, this was one of the questions in the previous video so you get that as equal to one and when i get log of one with any base that equals zero okay so those are things there just to be aware of and of course for those this is a scenario where a has to be positive and cannot also equal one Okay, so that's just a couple of special cases. Let's have a look at a few examples. Okay, first example, write as a single logarithm. So we want to use the multiplication law here. We've got the same base and then they are added. So this becomes log and it's 7 times 3. So that's going to become log of 21 to the base 5. Now looking at B, 
you can see again same base but they're taken away so you're going to be the division one so we've got log and it's going to be 2 over 8 so this is going to be log of 1 quarter to the base 6 now I can also use the special case here I've got 1 over 4 I can rewrite this as a negative log of 4 to the base 6 and these two things are exactly the same and then finally part C so you can see there's a value in front of the log here before we can use the multiplication rule they have to be just two logs nothing multiplied by them so we have to use our power rule to take that up as a power so this one's going to become log of 2 cubed to the base 5 plus log of 3 to the base 5. Then I can use the multiplication rule so we get log and 2 cubed is 8 and then of course multiplied by 3. So we get log of 24 to the base 5. And there's my three single logarithms. Just remember for this middle one B, either of these would have been acceptable. Now with this example, we are just going to start separating them out. So the reverse of what we just did. So we've got multiplication here. We've got X to the five times Y squared times Z. So let's separate them out. So we get log of X to the power of five plus log of y squared plus log of z and they're all to base a then i can use my power rule and rewrite this as a log of x to the base a so 5 log x to the base a plus 2 log y to the base a plus log z to the base a and they're nicely separated out let's look at b so we've got two that are multiplied and one that is divided. So multiplication, multiplication, division. So we get here x squared, and of course this is still to the base a, plus log of y to the base a minus log of, sorry, z to the base a. And that z is in a square root sign. So now we can go about sorting this out a little bit. So we get 2 log of x to the base a plus log of y to the base a minus. And the z is to the power of half. So we can bring the half down and get half log of z to the base a. Okay, hopefully that was okay. I did it in one kind of step here, but you know what we're doing is it's the top, which is this one minus the bottom. So I could have put brackets on here as I started to sort it out. And if I had more things on the bottom, that's what I probably would do. But because I need one term on the bottom, I didn't bother with the brackets. I just went straight into it. Now, finally, part C, we've got log A. And then this is multiplication rule, so it's a to the power six. Sorry, it's division rule. A to the power six, and then we've got minus log of x to the base a. Now, use my power rule first of all to bring my six down. So we get six log of a to the base a minus log of a x to the base a. And anything that has the same base and value, so log of a to the base a, these two are the same. So this just becomes the value 1. So now we get 6 minus log x to the base a. Okay, hopefully nice and clear. Now, just thinking back to that b, I'm just going to add in an extra example here. So if I went with, say, b squared c over d e cubed, maybe, just as an example, 
Um, just so I could show you what I was just mentioning earlier. So when I'm separating this one out, I am doing the top values and I'm minusing that from the bottom values. Okay, that's what's going on. So if you think of the top values there, you've got B squared plus uh, log of C. And then we subtract in, I put that in brackets for now. And then we've got log of D plus log of E cubed. And both of those are to the base A. So what we've ended up with is a two log of B to the base A plus log of C to the base A minus log of D to the base A minus 3 log of E to the base A. Okay, uh, hopefully that was just clear, but I just thought since we just discussed this B, um, I'd put two values in the bottom just to demonstrate. Final example, solve the equation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write these as a single logarithm. So they have the same base, makes it easier. It's multiplication rule. So we get five times X, so it's going to be five X. Now I want to use one of the rules from earlier, the previous video, do you remember, where this becomes five X, the three would come up and the two would go to a power. So I'd get five X of three squared. If you remember that from the last video, if not, just double check the last video just to refresh your memory. So this gives me 5x equals 9, so x is going to equal 9 over 5, or as a decimal, that would be 1.8, although I do personally prefer to leave things as a fraction. Now, hopefully you found this video useful so far. As always, I'm going to pop a few questions up for you to try. I'll put the answers at the end of the video. Um, you know, feel free to pause and skip ahead, etc. And yeah, enjoy. Also, if you are new to the channel or, you know, you've been coming for a while now, but still haven't subscribed, just consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps me out and it helps you as well. If you are looking for a little bit of help later on in the year, you might not need it now, but maybe exam time you do. At least then it's in your list that makes it easier to find.